In this video, I will discuss about Skifes test. Skifes test is a supplementary test from the previous test, which is the analysis of variance. To find out where the differences lies, another test must be used, the Skifes test. The F test or the ANOVA tells us that there is a significant difference in the average sales of the four brands of vitamin C. But as to where the difference lies, it has to be tested further by another test, the Skifes test. So we use the formula F prime is equal to the quantity x sub 1 bar minus x sub 2 bar is squared all over SW squared times the quantity n sub 1 plus n sub 2 all over n sub 1 times n sub 2. Where F prime is the Skifes test, x sub 1 bar is the mean of group 1, x sub 2 bar is the mean of group 2, n sub 1 is the number of samples in group 1, n sub 2 is the number of samples in group 2, and SW squared is the within mean squares. So let us use the same data from our example on the analysis of variance. So we have here the four brands of vitamin C, which are the brands A, B, C, and D. Under brand A, we have a sample size of 7 and a mean of 5.28. Under brand B, we have a sample size of 7 and a mean of 8.14. Then on brand C, it has a sample size of 7 and a mean of 3.71. And lastly, brand D has a sample size of 7 and a mean of 5.14. First, let us compare brands A and B. So that is A versus B. So the given are for X sub 1, that is the mean of group 1, which is 5.28. Then mean of group 2 is equal to 8.14. Then N sub 1 is equal to 7. N sub 2 is also equal to 7. Then SW squared is equal to 3.02. Then plug these values into the formula. So that is now... The quantity 5.28 minus 8.14 is squared all over 3.02 times the quantity 7 plus 7 all over 7 times 7. So simplifying it further, that is now negative 2.86 squared all over 42.28 all over 49. Then we now have 8.28. 1796 divided by 0 0.86, which is equal to 9.51. Next will be A versus C. So, for the mean of group 1, 5.28, mean of group 3, 3.71. Then N sub 1 and N sub 3 are both 7. Then SW squared is equal to 3.02. Then substitute these values to the formula. So that is now the quantity 5.28 minus 3.71 is squared all over 3.02 times the quantity 7 plus 7 all over 7 times 7. Then that is now 1.57 squared all over 42.28 all over 49. Then, that will now be 2.4649 divided by 0 0.86, which is equal to 2.87. Next will be A versus D. So, for the mean of group 1, that is 5.28. For the mean of group 4, that is 5.14. N sub 1 is 7. N sub 4 is also 7. And SW squared is 3.02. Then plug those values into the formula. 
So that is now the quantity 5.28 minus 5.14 is squared all over 3.02 times the quantity 7 plus 7 all over 7 times 7. Then simplify further. That is now 0 0.14 is squared all over 42.28 all over 49. That is equal to 0 0.0196 divided by 0 0.2. 86, which is equal to 0 0.02. Next will be B versus C. So, for the mean of group 2, that is 8.14. Mean of group 3 is 3.71. And sub 2 is 7. And sub 3 is also 7. And SW squared is equal to 3.02. Then, substitute these values into the formula. So, that is now the quantity 8.14 minus 3.71 squared all over 3.02 times the quantity 7 plus 7 all over 7 times 7. So, that is equal to 4.43 squared all over 42.28 all over 49, which is equal to 19.6249 divided by 0 0.86 then that is equal to 22.82. Next will be B versus D. So for the given, the mean of group 2 is equal to 8.14, the mean of group 4 is equal to 5.14, n sub 2 is 7, n sub 4 is 7, and SW squared is equal to 3.02. Then that will now be the quantity 8.14 minus 5.14 is squared all over 3.02 times the quantity 7 plus 7 all over 7 times 7. Then that is now 3 squared all over 42.28 all over 49 which is equal to 9 divided by 0 0.86. And that is equal to 10.47. And the last one is C versus D. So the mean of group 3 is equal to 3.71. Mean of group 4 is 5.14. N sub 3 is 7. N sub 4 is 7. And SW squared is equal to 3.02. So, plugging now these values into the formula, so that is the quantity 3.71 minus 5.14 is squared all over 3.02 times the quantity 7 plus 7 divided by 7 times 7. So, that is negative 1.43 squared all over 42.28 all over 49 which is equal to 2.0449 divided by 0 0.86, which is equal to 2.38. So, after computing the value of Skiffes value between brands, it's now time for us to construct a comparison table. So, we have here the comparison of the average sales of the four different brands of vitamin C. So we have here the between brand, the F computed value, the product of the F tabular value, and the degrees of freedom between. So our F tabular value is equal to 3.01, and the degrees of freedom between is equal to 3. So 3.01 times 3 is equal to 9.03. And we also have the interpretation. So, if the Skiffes computed value is greater than the product of the F tabular value and the degrees of freedom between, then they are significant. However, if the Skiffes computed value is less than the product of the F tabular value and the degrees of freedom between, then they are not significant. So, A versus B is equal to 
that is greater. So, that is significant. A versus C is 2.87, that is lesser, not significant. A versus D is equal to 0 0.02, lesser, not significant. B versus C is equal to 22.82, greater, that is significant. B versus D is equal to 10.46, greater, that is significant. And lastly, C versus D, 2.38, lesser, not significant. So as we can see on the table, that there is a significant difference in the sales between brands A and B, brands B and C, and also brands B and D. However, brands A and C, brands A and D, and brands C and D do not significantly differ in their average sales. Meaning to say, this implies that brand B is more saleable than brands A, C, and D. So that is Skifes test. Thank you for watching and I hope you have learned something.